Well, tonight, 10 News was tipped off to a crime that's left the young players of a Santee softball league without thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Tennis reporter Janet Kwok is live in Santee to explain why the league believes they know who did this. Janet. $10,000 worth of equipment was stolen from this storage unit here, but none of the locks were broken, suggesting this may have been an inside job. Pint-sized players at this Santee Park oh, didn't you hear? are calling foul. They took like the heart and soul of our team. On the thieves that ransacked their storage unit. All four machines, air compressor, extension cords, and some of our pitching machine balls. All were in here. Ten thousand dollars worth of softball equipment gone. Everything was locked. So this was all locked right yep. here. All all three gates were locked up. With no signs of an apparent break-in, the softball league suspects it may be someone who had access to the field, throwing a curveball for the 34 teams and hundreds of children who use it every day. Well, we pretty much use um, pitching in everyday practice, so it it is very frustrating. Santee ASA is now changing their policy of who gets the field keys so these kids can continue to play ball. We've already had like almost three fundraisers to help our team just get through and now we're going to have like more fundraisers to get the pitching machines back so it's more work for us. And the league tells us they've raised enough money to replace some of their stolen equipment. Now they're thinking about installing some surveillance cameras here at the park. Reporting live from Santee, I'm Janet Kwok, 10 News.